Welcome to day 16 of uh, 21 Days of Prayer. And today I want to challenge you with probably one of the hardest areas that uh, we deal with in this life. You know, you, when you go through life, you're just going to have times when someone's going to hurt you. Somebody's going to offend you. Somebody's going to betray you. Somebody's going to take advantage of you. Not really a lot of fun and not really inspiring, but how you respond to it is really important because that determines whether or not you will be positioned to hear God for anything else that goes on. There's no issue in our lives that God deals with so severely as the issue of forgiveness, specifically uh, someone who's unwilling to forgive. It's amazing, you know, we know Jesus as a loving uh, God, as a great loving Savior, as a gentle shepherd. And yet when it comes to the issue of forgiveness, he said that if, if you don't forgive your brother from your heart or if you don't forgive another person from the heart, he says you're going to experience torment and God is actually going to allow it to happen. You go, that sounds a little bit harsh, but you've got to understand something. God sent Jesus and one of the greatest things that God wanted to communicate to all of us through Jesus was that God forgives sinners. And when you as a believer actually block the key message that Jesus came to give. God says, I'm going to actually deal with you on that. And you know, you can try to seek him for all kinds of things. You can ask him for all kinds of things. But when you've got bitterness and unforgiveness in your heart towards somebody, God is going to kind of look at you and go, well, until we clean up this, there's really no reason to go forward from here. Let's deal with this one. No issue is harder to deal with than that. And, and let me just encourage you in this. For many believers, they've been stuck for a long time. Sometimes they bounce from church to church to church because of an issue of unforgiveness that they've had against somebody. And no matter where they go, they never feel plugged in or like they can connect to it. I had a situation some years back where we had a, a, a two a young people that were dating and they were really in a situation that they knew uh, they weren't supposed to be in. And both of them were adults, and I had spent a lot of time um, pouring into the, the man, discipling him, encouraging him, spent a, several years, as a matter of fact. And I had to confront them on something that they were doing and actually trying to hide, but it was uh, brought out into the open through a series of circumstances. They both left the church. Never heard from them for uh, five years. Five years later, out of the blue, the man contacted me and he said, you know what? He said, I'm actually um, in school now. I'm learning things about ministry and uh, we're supposed to contact people that made the biggest impact in our lives and to thank them. And he said, I want you to know something. You were willing to tell me what was right even when I wasn't willing to listen. And I just want to tell you, thank you for loving me that way. That was really a, a reconciliation moment. He hadn't spoken with her or seen her since about three weeks after I initially confronted them five years earlier. And yet, completely without knowing what he had done, she showed up on a Sunday morning and she came to me. And she said, I was mad at you and I left the church and she goes and ever since then I've gone from church to church to church and no matter where I go I feel disconnected and I know that the only way to make it right is to come here and to ask you to forgive me and and I looked at her and I was so just overjoyed at the fact that her heart was so um, just re ready to to follow God in this and so of course it, we I forgave her Everything was great, and, um, and she was able to go forward with God. Guys, I'm telling you, whenever there's an area of unforgiveness in your heart, you're just going to feel like you're wandering around. So I want to encourage you, obey God in this area. If you have a hard time forgiving, then talk with somebody. Go to your small group, talk about it. Sit down and talk with a pastor if you need to. But no matter what, don't let the area of unforgiveness keep you out of position from being able to hear God. Deal with it and you'll experience a breakthrough. So let's pray. Father, right now, all of us have experienced areas of hurt, offenses, betrayals. God, and sometimes 
even things that people have done that were the right thing, but we just didn't want to hear it. Father, whatever areas of unforgiveness that we are carrying, God, may you release that. May we just take that to you and may we express the release of a need to make somebody make it right. Help us, God, to let it go and to release them. Thank you that you have forgiven me of my sins. Lord, forgive them of their sins. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Make sure uh, that you continue on this journey with us for the full 21 days. We'll see you tomorrow.